Good evening, everybody. I didn't mute myself this time, so I'm sure you can all hear me. Normally, I come on and I'm muted. I do it all the time. Anyway, I hope you are all OK. I can see there's a few people here in the chat. So hello to you all. I'll get through the list in just a moment. Now, this live stream, I'm so excited for it. We have some amazing people joining on screen and I can't wait for them to come on and speak to you all and to make sure you've got your questions ready because they're going to be answering them whether they like it or not. <laughs> so let me introduce first, let's get them up on screen so I'm not here on my own. <laughs> we have from the BTS committee, we have Mark and Kim. Hello. <laughs> And we also have Ray and Angela. Yay! Ray. And obviously, we also had to have somebody else here. And it's got to be Guy Tansley. <laughs> it's right. got to be. Now, we may well be having an additional special guest. They're not guaranteed yet, but I'm hoping to keep fingers crossed because it'd be a nice surprise if we do. So, yeah, let me just have a quick chat, uh, look at the chat, sorry, who's here, and then we'll get started with introducing yourselves if that's okay so hello to matthew ward matthew was here early early bird chris spiller's here hey chris steve w whoop, whoop. uh insects with chase hello chase Chaz, Chaz. i did it again sorry sorry Chaz. i always say his name wrong <laughs> Chaz, Chase. oh no i can't remember now i'm so sorry <laughs> um who else do we have jp's arachnids hi hi oh look 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 who's here. <laughs> Watch ya. How are you doing, dude? Um, we also have oh, we have uh Jeremy uh was that wrong? Sean from Oregon, USA. Hello, thank you for joining us. Um and who else is here? Let's quickly look. And Angela Barney is here. Hello, Angela. Thank you for being here. I hope you are okay, lovely. I hope you're feeling better. Yes, so there's a few uh, people obviously going to join at some point, I'm sure. Oh, I've got some members joined. I can see it on here on my phone, but I can't see it on StreamYard. So I'm sorry about that. <coughs> but Steve W and Insects with uh, Chaz, thank you so much for rejoining my channel membership. So Insects with Chaz says, hello, I'm wearing your merch today. I wore it. I wore it the best day. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad you're wearing my merch. That's amazing. Thank you so, so much. Right. So let's get going then. What I want you guys to do is introduce yourself because some people may not know who you are. They don't. And that's crazy. <laughs> so I think if we go round, no, this way, it's this way, isn't it? Go round and you can introduce yourselves, tell us who you are, what you do, BTS, etc., etc. So go. Mark. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> My name's Mark Kim and this is Mark and we're both on the BTS committee and I help organise and run the BTS lectures along with Mark. Yes. And uh, I also do all the websites and sort out the social media and all the graphics and logos, merchandise, anything like that that needs designing. That tends to be down to me. Yeah, so I'll be hitting him up in the future for some editing <laughs> tricks, I'm pretty sure. Like, ah, yeah, I need to know how you did this, how you did that. <laughs> and okay. Then, down, down. Yeah. Uh, my name's Ray, I'm Ray, Ray Hale. I'm the um, BTS Vice Chair. I'll let Angela introduce herself um, because she'll shout at me otherwise. Um, I'm the BTS Vice Chair. Um, oh, we have actually been, we worked it out today because we're really old. Um, we've actually been with the society almost 30 years now. Amazing. Um, I also, with Angela, organised the BTS exhibition, the 35th one, which is coming up very soon. And I was saying earlier, well, this will be our 28th show that we have actually organised. So, right. I'm Angela Hale. Um, I, uh, be, I'm the secretary of the British Chancellor Society. I've been for well, 30 something years. We've been keeping, breeding, studying tarantulas for about 39 years. And I helped Ray organise the ex exhibition. And we started when it was a ninth exhibition. So we're still nice. going. Nine. Now we're on the 35th. 35th. Amazing stuff. That's so cool. <laughs> 
And then Guy, come on. Come on, Hi. Guy. <laughs> guy. <laughs> From Bugs and Stuff and GiantSpiders.com, ex-committee member many years ago, long-term supporter, long-term contributor to the journal, and occasionally lecturer at uh, the wonderful BTS lectures. Yeah. 33 years uh, on the wagon. On the wagon. <laughs> on the spider wagon. <laughs> and, um, so we we do actually have a, like this surprise special guest. The way it's not Andy, is it? I just saw that. I just saw him pop up. But do you know what? They're actually not on their own. So I'm I'm pretty excited. So I'm going to introduce to you JP and the Emperor. Good <laughs> <laughs> evening, everybody. I love it. Just about trenches. Weird. <laughs> No, it's not about tarantulas at all, JP. Yeah. We do we do have an issue of, of, of handling, so I'm just going to get JP yeah. to put that down. Sorry. <laughs> so you just in time. You, you two can yeah. now introduce yourselves. <laughs> I didn't realise you two live together now. <laughs> it's, very, it's very harmonious. Um, hey, you can't beat the real thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Pete Kirk, um, aka <laughs> by some the Emperor, um, <laughs> Chairman of the British Tarantula Society. Uh, unfortunately, unable to make it down to the lectures this year for the first time. I was gutted that I couldn't make it. Um, but yeah, I, I've heard they were a real success. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. Um, that and over to John Paul, who will tell you who he is. I'm a John Paul Lamaru, otherwise known as JP. Um, I've been keeping therophosids and other inverts for what well, reptiles <laughs> probably about 40 years like most of the other us other youngsters on the team <laughs> um i know i don't look that old really but anyway about 40 years and uh i was uh on the bts committee probably 20 20, yeah. 20 years ago mm -hmm. probably about 20 odd years ago yeah and um obviously Spiders have always been in my blood. I'm a big arachnologist and been all over the world looking for them and all that sort of stuff, as the other guys here have. And um, someone talked me, a, did I volunteer or did you talk me into it? <laughs> <laughs> what happened, but it probably over a few stiff drinks and then same all of a thing, sudden really. same thing, I woke really, yeah. up and yeah. I was back on the committee. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. And the rest is history. But obviously the guys from the BTS committee are like, my best friends in the whole world and we've been sort of really good mates for many 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 years and uh yeah back in the fold basically That's and welcome amazing. yes thank you <laughs> and so so ray <laughs> at the lectures you did the opening sequence didn't you and you was you was talking about you know how long it had been running for and how the BTS actually came together all those years mm. ago so for anybody again that's in the chat that doesn't actually know do you want to just kind of give us that little rendition again? A, a, a potty history. Uh, well, basically, the, the, the BTS was formed um, way back in the early 80s by a lady called Anne Webb, believe it or not, and then Frank Webb and, and Andrew Smith, of course. Um, and they, they basically formed a club because tarantula keeping was really in its infancy in those days. Um, there were only two pet shops you could buy spiders from in the entire of England. And so they got together and formed a club, which which originally had a different name. Um, but then they actually decided that the British Tarantula Society, um, and, and because there was very little information about they decided to write their own. Yeah. Um, and Webb wrote a wonderful book called The Proper Care of Tarantulas, which is still around today. Um, you know, I'll hope hopelessly out of date these days, but still a great book, you know. And I have to say, when all of us started keeping tarantulas, there was no internet, and literally, if you wanted to know something, you 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 read a book. It was yeah. simple as that. And there it is, is the very is book. Is that the book? Is that the book? That's that is the very book. And if you can find a copy, then buy it because it's 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 still a it's still a good read. It's still a good book. Um, Don't show the cover it, again. It's show cover. the cover again. That's it. Look at that. Yeah, look, look, there's a bit of history there. Even look. sign. Ooh, no way. Frank's old telephone number. Even <laughs> sign. <laughs> Well, you'll, to be fair, you'll do well to get them now. They're passed on about 10 years ago. Oh, no, yeah. Oh. Let me get a telephone number. We've, we've got a Ouija board for that, yes. right? 
<laughs> and then basically um, a committee was formed and over the years people have, have, have come and gone and JP came and left and other people have returned as JP has um, and, and their very very first show that they had well believe it or not was actually in a tiny industrial unit in Watford and it had 12 people attend 12 people 12 people it's so, so um, different to how it is now isn't it and then it, totally it just different. got bigger and bigger and bigger um, until um, there was a show, to be fair, at the Birmingham Nature Centre, which I'm sure we all remember, okay. which was an awful show. Um, <laughs> and then at that point, I actually wrote – I wasn't a committee member. I was a member of the club. And I wrote to Peter Kirk and said, absolutely ridiculous. What a sh awful show. What a terrible show. And, and, and I said, I can do better. And so he said, well, please do. And you um, did. And 27 years later, <laughs> we're about to, we're about to go and do that, right? Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, <laughs> but, you know, the, the BTS has, has gone from strength to strength, and I think one of the things that has made it so successful is this, is this friendship and camaraderie that the committee have always had, and also our, our willingness um, to, to, to talk to others, to, to introduce new people to the hobby, to give advice, um, you know, we're not a police force. We're just like you guys. We're just hobbyists. Yep. Um, it's just that we've done it a lot longer. No, you can't speak to people. Um, we, we can't speak to people. If, if, if we feel, seem a bit aloof at the show, the uh, problem is we can't speak to people because we're so busy. We're so busy. <laughs> yeah. um, too busy. Too, too busy. You, know, you, need, you need to speak to us on the Saturday evening if you, you want to. Join us on the Saturday evening. I mean, today, I mean, you know, in the heyday. We had well over sort of oh, well over a thousand members. You know, um, the internet came along, and everyone thought it was the end of the world. You know, for for, for clubs, we embraced it. Um, Mark does a great job on the on the website for us. Hopefully, now with you, Amy, we're, we're going to move actually into the twenty first century. <laughs> Oi, and some of us are already there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what's really what's really nice, to be honest, is is that you know we all of us have the same passion about spiders that we had on that very first time we bought on we bought our very first spider of the year we got married 1983 um, the year and the I was born <laughs> and, yeah, same year as me <laughs> same year as me that's when I first got my first one and that's really sad Amy can you be quiet <laughs> well that's when I was born <laughs> yeah. and that was it too and we, we've all got the passion we've all still got that passion and we all still want to, to, to talk to people and say look you know if we can help we want to help and, and we, we organise the show and that show is for you guys you know yes but people should remember as well, it, it is our hobby too. So we do like to have a little walk around and <laughs> see what's there. Yeah. Spend a bit of cash. Yeah, a bit. We've got another special, got another guest. special guest. Oh, oh, oh it's no. a sheep. Oh, no, I hope it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not, me. Uh, not me. Don't want me on the big screen. He's been like playing this. in the mud today, oh, haven't you? Oh. Found a big it's muddy so puddle, fluffy. puddle and just ran through it. Yeah. So <laughs> fluffy. Followed by Pete, which is rather amusing. <laughs> it's not a special I didn't have my, guess. Have my phone out at the time. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. it, it, it's all right, Kim, but you know, yeah, it's not Odin. Yeah, it's, not so it's my baby. <laughs> yeah, oh, I've got, I've got to uh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, how about you, guy? You got anything? No. <laughs> simple, <laughs> simple no. It's all so undignified, isn't it, Guy? Yes. <laughs> and we've digressed from the topic of tarantulas, I'm afraid. That's okay. That's okay. I, I, I normally wing it when I'm doing a live stream anyway, so don't worry. You know, just chat whatever. It's fine. Yeah, I was just going to say, with, with this number of committee members on there, uh, yeah, it's going to be like herding cats, honestly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> When you when you when you have your first committee meeting with us, you'll see exactly what we mean. Well, yeah. I actually haven't announced publicly that I have yeah. joined the committee, so but, but now I have. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So let's I, welcome I our new BTS, new newest BTS committee member. Newest. We well, welcome Jamie, it. Well, yeah. Well, he's not. He's just returned. And, yeah. and, and Sammy, don't worry about. It. 
Oh, we Aunt Sammy. Sammy. Aunt Sammy, yeah. <laughs> no, but I. Hello. Hello, my lovely. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. I'll let you good. <laughs> But yeah, I'm I'm extremely uh, hum humbled and grateful that you you guys accepted me onto the committee. It was something that I've been thinking about doing for maybe a year or so, and just didn't kind of have a big enough pair of kahunas to ask you. <laughs> and then I grew some, and I, I asked you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and 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 Guy Tansley, <laughs> he's a bit of a bad influence. No, he's not really. But the encouragement from Guy um, also kind of helped me to help steer me to, to good, get in good. touch and ask. And yeah, I'm I'm so excited for what the future is going to hold. Yeah, I can't wait. I cannot wait. And and the, just coming to the lectures because it was my first time as well coming to them. Uh, where it's face to face. I was on the Zoom one last year, um, but then this going to the lectures just blew my mind it was absolutely fantastic we as a family because it was me my husband you can see in the chat tin free is my husband and oh, our, daughter. our daughter they were so accommodating. and it was yes. just amazing and the, she had such an amazing time as well when we got home she actually said to me can we go back and I was like, oh, yeah, no. next year. And she went, no, is it not on next weekend? I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> not next weekend. <laughs> so, yeah, it was just absolutely fantastic. It was so, so much information, you know, that was shared that you probably, or I probably would never have found out any other way. So, you know, that who, you, who you had given the lectures, all of you, everybody that gave all the information and just everybody that was there. It was just, just amazing. Yeah, just fantastic. And like you know, I think you know, I've done this video, which will kind of explain a little bit more, hopefully, of how I felt it went <laughs> for me anyway. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm. I, I recommend to anybody definitely go to the lectures, and it was good as well because, like you're saying at the shows, you don't get a chance to talk to people at the lectures. Right. We did get a chance to chat, and and that was really really nice, you know. But I really do think more people need to go. That room needs to be fully doubly packed. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. absolutely. As I said earlier on, uh, generally at a show, you don't get to try, don't get a chance to talk to the committee members and the people that are, are running the event. But that's what the lectures are set up to do. So Mark and Kim put a lot of our work into it. A lot of our work into that. That is a big old event to run, really. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I mean, it's pretty seamless, to be fair. It really Everything was. Worked. Luckily, Ellie was there to uh, actually make everything, <laughs> go, make everything go properly, as it should do. But yeah, no, it's 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 a great event, and I think I think it should be much better attended than it is because the yeah. as you said, Amy, the information there is mind boggling. <clears throat> if you're into the hobby of keeping therophosids, the information that actually comes across there is <clears throat> priceless. It is. I, it I really is. Might. I mean, Brent, point out that Brent, um, Hendrickson. Brent Hendrickson's lecture on the cloud, uh, the Sky Islands, and talking about different therophosis that are found across those areas was just absolutely mind bogglingly interesting. Yeah, that guy, I would love to spend a few months with that guy, he's absolutely fantastic. And that, and just to, just to show as a um, sort of an ecological, um, a ecological sort of litmus, which is what the tranquillers are on that environment that could go like that in a blink yeah. of an eye. In and a blink of an eye. 15 years' time, those spiders may not exist. Yeah. And to, to literally hear that, and we were hearing that across the world, Mark, Mark and Ray and Guy will all know that you go back to a place that you see tranquillers in the wild like 2015. 20 30 years ago, you go back there now, and there's a car park. I've, you know? I've seen them disappear in a year, yeah, yeah. mate. Yeah, 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 it's and this is a whole species because they're sort of crepuscular, nocturnal <laughs> creatures. I mean, we see them all day, but because of that type of animal they are, it's like a badger. No one cares about a badger because they come out at night, so it's fine for them to sh like clear badgers. Yeah, it's the same with tarantulas because they come out at night, no one sees them, and they're spiders, and no one particularly likes spiders, no one cares about them. But they're an apex predator, oh, in, they really are in their sort of microcosm. So, 
it's just fascinating to hear people that are so passionate about that and they're getting the data that backs these this information up. That and, and that's it. it. The only it's, way you're going to get that is at these lectures. Yeah, it's so, it is. It's like when with what uh, Dr. Saoirse Foley was talking about as well, like the timeline and and you know going back to to seeing where it all came from, where it started. Was it 119 million years ago? Yeah. It, it, yeah. That was, BTS that has been around me. a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ray was a boy then. Yeah. Feels like it. Feels like it. <laughs> I think. I think a lot of people have a, a misunderstanding about the lectures because it sounds quite academic. And although, you know, 50% can be academic, I think there's something in there for everybody. I oh, think gosh, that's that's what we always it. try to We a always try mix. to give a good balance. Yeah, because if people think it's just academic lectures all day, that's, I mean, it's quite hard going for, for the hardcore like us as well, if it's, if it's full on. Uh, so none of it, nobody, I think, wants a full on academic lectures all day long. Mm -hmm. So it's interspersed with with uh, travel logs and uh, observations and, you know, lots of lots of variety in there. And that's mm. what I like about it. Yeah, I think the thing to remember as well, really, is, you know, that, I mean, you know, the after dinner lecture, I know we, we, we sort of we, we sort of rebandy a little bit Andy Smith uh, because we've known him so long. But I mean, Andy Smith. Back in the day, he was the man with tarantulas. You know, his, his book, The Therophosid ID Guide, what the, it was groundbreaking. There was nothing like it. You know, he then went on to write a number of other books. And in those days, I mean, Andy Smith, well, he's a still a much-respected arachnologist, but people should remember, you know, to, to, to have the opportunity to listen to... To listen to, oh, yes, there it is. Oh, that's my toilet, toilet paper. This one, that's, that's my, <laughs> is that not my book? <laughs> Thank you for that. That's um, right, mate. Now, this is like, look, that's gold dust. Listen, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but the reality is with Andrew Smith, yeah, I know, <laughs> but, the, but the true reality with Andrew <laughs> Smith, you have to get the opportunity to listen to Andrew Smith lecture. Um, it, it's, it's still a great privilege for us as his friends, but you know, and, and I think. <laughs> People should 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 respect that and come along and and I mean Andy is is a wonderful lecturer. There's no doubt about it. I mean he's yeah. had so many adventures and most of them I think Guy was with him. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I'm sure you'll have many more Guy. <laughs> yeah, I'll still bear the scars. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I believe Mental you have travelled with him as well. Mental scars. Yeah. But I mean, like with obviously all the lectures, you know, it was fascinating. I I, I have to admit, I did kind of think they will actually know anything about tarantulas at one point <laughs> but it was just because like some of the information like you said it, it was a little bit hard hitting but it was presented in a way that you could understand it if you know what i mean so so yeah. I, I kind of understood it and then yeah just just blew my mind but also not just that but how amazing was that dinner like the the, the oh, hotel and the yeah. dinner was it was just fantastic it really was with the the candles on the table and everything it went all posh. <laughs> well, the thing it to remember, that, of course, is that like like the show, the day after the show and the day after the lectures, us guys we start organising next year's. And Mark and Kim have already started next year's. I've, I mean, we haven't had the show this year, and I've already started organising twenty twenty three. Um, and 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 when you think these lectures have been going for twenty two years. The amount of lectures we've had at those lectures is phenomenal, yeah. and the information that, that's been given that's been given out is is superb. You know, I mean, we've already started sort of looking for lectures next year, um, and so we, we will start doing that very soon. I mean, hopefully, myself and Pete and, and Mark we're looking at perhaps giving lectures, um, serious lectures. Um, you know, so, yeah, I, I, we can do serious. <laughs> <laughs> but as I say, and, and we have to realise, and, and marking, we know this from all that you know. To organise an event of that magnitude and and of that to run that slick does take twelve months, and it's it's quite a difficult thing to do. You know, you've got source lecturers, source source hotels, venues, etc. So I'm sure it will be at the same venue next year. But Kim will will, will tell yeah. us that. I will. I am at the, actually at the hotel tomorrow, so I'm hoping to secure a date for next year's event and as soon as i do i will let you all know well that hotel that hotel was fantastic and yes yeah, um, on that hotel yeah 
and and so obviously uh, my husband and my daughter came and they didn't sit in on the lectures obviously I don't think a seven-year-old can sit through the lectures and be quiet for that length of time but they used the facilities in the hotel they went swimming you know there was so much that they could do and then they came and they had lunch with us when we broke for lunch as well so it, it, even though they actually wasn't attending the lectures they were made to feel so welcome and and just that in itself of me coming as my my little family and and being made to feel that welcome all three of us yeah just it was <laughs> it was just brilliant. Always been a family. It, it's always been a family, really. As far mm. long back as far back as I could see it, you know. I, first time I went round to see Anna and Frank in Radlett in their little flat in Radlett many many years ago. You used to go in there, and it was like you was like you, I wasn't just JP. I was like one of their like nephews, sort of thing. Yeah. And that's how it's gone over the years. And that's why we've all sort of stuck together over the years and become sort of more of a family. Obviously, you're a part of it now, Amy. And then you know, we've, we've always stuck, we've always stuck together, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. But, um, you know, and I guys, think I think that's the, the, the success is is any organisation, not just us. Um, you know, you see a lot of clubs and societies go to the wall. Um, simply because, you know, committee members come and go. But we've had a fairly hardcore. And, and you know, like you say, Amy, we invited you onto the committee. You asked if you wanted to come on. And I think a lot of people have this this image that we're, we're going to say no. Yeah. You can't come on. But, of course, you know, we, we, we need people. We, we, we want people to help us, you know, because none of us are getting any younger. Um, yeah. and as, but it, it is nice to welcome young people and say, well, look, come on, see what we do. You know, we we, we, we still feel we have a role to play in this hobby. Yeah, um, absolutely. And I think just, you know, the, the tarantula community as a whole, you know, and there's a lot of people that say that the one thing that they love the most um, or, you know, just as much as the tarantulas is the fact that they've been opened up to this community of people these like-minded people that just get it you know and, and you can just chat for hours about tarantulas you know yeah how else can you really do that with for me i, I don't have winking you know, at me you're <laughs> <affecting. laughs> sorry another cat so just you just try and jump in your screen i think getting a window sorry yes, hold on <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah. This is where what surprised me as well with the lectures this year was that the amount of single uh, males and single females that was there to listen to the information that was there. I mean, we had, what was the young lady you was talking to? We had da Daz. Alex. Daz, yeah. Daz was, Alex. Daz was on your table. Alex yeah. as well. I mean, <clears throat> and he, Sammy actually heard him talking to his mum on the phone. And he was saying like, Oh yeah, I'm really being made welcome here. They're inviting me in. We're not, I'm not sitting on my own. No, they're really accommodating, really nice, friendly people. And I think that's as Ray, mm. Ray said, like people think we're sort of elitist, snob, tarantula, <laughs> mafioso. But obviously it's not right. <laughs> it's, it's a try testament to the shark to the um to the lectures because he was sitting there and a voyeur was listening to it and he was saying just how at home he felt and everyone was yeah. nice they was sharing information stuff like that and that says a lot he does. I think well, that's to do that with a lot of people essentially why we set it up and, that's, and that says a lot for how Mark and Kim run that event you go in there and it's really nice and friendly and you have a drink and a chat mm -hmm. and there's all different types of people there all spectrums of the hobby you know, you haven't got to be an Andrew Smith. You can be like, you know, anyone, you know? Yeah. yeah I think that, that reputation, though, comes from things like the show, like you say. So somebody might come to the table and you know what it's like. You speak to 100 people, but only for five seconds. Yeah. And you're completely distracted. And people maybe think, oh, they've ignored us for some reason. So maybe they're, they're not interested <laughs> in what I've got to say. But in that scenario, like you say, the lectures and the night before of the BTS show is the place to actually find out where everyone's a bit more relaxed yep. and got much more time. Yeah, so yeah much more. It's the social aspect of the lectures, which is, which is just as important as the lectures, isn't it? 
Yeah, absolutely. Because I would, wouldn't see that the same. Most of. person you could probably meet. You know, you could sit down. You could sit down with Andy and literally listen. Yeah. I mean, most of us already have, but you could sit down with Andy and listening, listen to his stories over the last night like, half a century, and just be enthralled with yeah. every sentence. You know, and. Yeah. It, it and he, even when he was educating me on coffee, you know, even that. Cars, <laughs> <laughs> coffee, fish, whiskey, brandy, right, yeah, all that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, when it was. Same, when you've heard the same story for 20 years, though, I get to do Yeah, that's true, guys. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. All right. <laughs> So that you know, that's why you're there now, Amy, to, to, to absorb his conversations now. To, to absorb it, okay. I think, I think as well, like if you go back to the sort of show, is, is when someone comes up to you and you speak to them for five seconds, as you say, uh, and then they go. And then, like, what I like is sort of 10 years later, you bump into the guy and he remembers your name and everything. And, and like, you think, oh, so who are you? Yeah, yeah. And it's so embarrassing because, and then this is why I tend to call everybody mate. Um, yeah. Because I say, oh, hi, Ray, it's Steve. And I'm thinking, I know yeah. I've met you, and I, we're not being rude, but you know, when you talk to somebody for five seconds at a show, um, yeah. this is why the lectures are so so important for the hobby. Massive, yeah. because I, I know you guys all meet, you have your little groups, and you meet up at the show and have a coffee and chat. Um, and and we we, we originally in, uh, started the lectures so so we could we could get involved and, and talk to people, you know, um, rather than sort of run around like like wounded rhinoceroses at the uh, show. <laughs> Which I tend to do. There's a question so, just come up there. Can you see that, yeah. Amy? There. Yeah. So, uh, oh. Professor's critic says, "Has the idea of streaming the lectures ever been brought up?" Now, oh, uh, Mark, I'll answer yeah. that. <laughs> go, on, go on, Mark. Well, on <sighs> like I said, so when we, me and Kim, come up with the idea of the lectures, was basically all around the fact that the committee doesn't get to speak to anybody at the BTS show. They all think the stuff he gets. Some of us are, um, but. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, and the emperor. But um, so over the years, we've always struggled to kind of feel, feel the uh, bums on seats. Uh, I think the most we ever had was seventy nine, yeah. and the least we've ever had was the very beginning, and that was twenty seven. So obviously, the question <clears throat> of streaming the lectures has come up many, many, many times. And during COVID, when we all couldn't see each other, we weren't allowed to sit next to each other, talk to each other, just in case we all died. Um, we we decided that we, we wanted to, not the lectures to go away, so we decided to stream them. And that was the first actual time that, um, and we had a, nearly 100 people join yeah. the stream. Now, we thought that was quite good, but the whole point of it, if we thought, if we opened it up to streaming, that we would lose people having to, you know, people think, well, I can stream it for 20 quid. Why should I pay 50 quid and sit in, have a five nice lectures, meet people, be sociable and, and have a lovely lunch, you know? So they all sit behind mm -hmm. their computers. So we were kind of reluctant, but I think because it went so smoothly with the, the live stream, especially with my daughter, Ellie, on the uh, OBS. And all that. So, uh, we thought we'd give it a go this year, and we were really, really disappointed yeah. to have literally half a dozen people. Eight people, may possibly not. Uh, we had a, a few people we invited in that were close friends of the society, and that's uh, Mike Jacoby and Debbie and Scott. Yeah. Uh, she were from New York, who are our New York representatives uh, for many, many, many years. Um, but other than that, it was like uh, five, I think five people who actually paid to, to sit and stream the lecture watch it on I, and we were okay we, we put the price up a little bit for streaming which is 20 pound mm -hmm. but that was really for for the information you're going to get over a period of almost eight nine hours mm -hmm. i think you know that's a small price to pay absolutely yeah absolutely. Go, you absolutely. pay that to watch go watch spider-man for a half you know, an hour and a half at the yeah. cinema massively but some of my friends have just uh, uh doing a, a tracking symposium like a wildlife tracking, because that's what I, another thing I'm into, like tracking animals and humans and stuff like that. And they're doing a tracking symposium, which is basically like our lectures, and they charge for a, for a streamed event eighty five pounds to sit and watch that on a computer. So, <clears throat> yeah, twenty quid is a good streamed. price. Then. That's all yep. streamed. So yeah. what you charge or what we charge for that <clears throat> event is 
it, for that information yeah. is absolutely amazing. I mean, so, I, Amy's been there, and it's so yeah. Fun. So, Mark, honestly, I was just going to say, D, D Professor's Critters is is basically saying that I, I'm I'm guessing he's based in the states. Yeah. Yes. Because um, he's he's saying it would be nice if these were available. Yeah, these were available in the US. Well, they were. Yeah. They, yeah, were, they were. Absolutely. Everybody overseas. Um, yeah, that was what I, I opened. Opened it up to the USA, USA only, and obviously or Europe uh, as well. Uh, mainly so that our American cousins over the pond could actually watch the lectures yeah. without having to fly over. Mm. And uh, I was really, I was. To be honest, I know there's a time difference, but you know it just meant that they would be start watching in the morning whilst we're sort of eating our lunch in the afternoon, sort of thing. But I would, yeah, I was quite disappointed. And we posted it on our active boards. We posted it on Facebook I groups. Think Debbie and Scott. Debbie and Scott pushed it as well. Yeah, I just yeah. whack the link to the Facebook group in the comments. So yeah, get over and join it because that's when you will see the latest events that are coming up. Hey, Sidex, how are you doing? Thank you for joining, dude. <coughs> Hello, <laughs> and Mitch is here. Hello, Mitch, and the universe. How are you doing? I think Mitch is streaming as well tonight. I do believe. Yeah, <clears throat> that's okay. You can keep it. That's fine. Okay, so shall uh, shall I play the video? Mm. Yeah, I play yeah. it. Oh yeah. So I'm going to try and play it so that we're on the screen at the same time. And then once uh, this stream finishes, I will be releasing the video to be able to view. So if you kind of miss it or whatever, you can watch it back. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see what we can do. Add to stream. Oh. Oh.
Yay! Hey. <laughs> I told you I was gonna I was gonna put that in, guys. <laughs> a little clip of you. Yeah. I just wish you could remember it. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I could have made that so much longer. There was so much more that happened than what I showed in that video. I, I took a lot of a lot of footage. Um but just kind of tried to get in the best bits and although all of it was fantastic so we could have gone on and on and on with it but I hope that I got across like just how I mean even my smile as I'm watching it and I've watched that back a few times now sad really because it's my own video but <laughs> <laughs> but but I absolutely loved it loved it loved the lectures I can't I can't even express how much because I just yeah we just loved it as a family it was amazing absolutely amazing and I wholeheartedly recommend that people go especially not just for the lectures but also for the social side of it because it's, that it's more personal cool. it's more personal and a little less chaotic it, yeah, it yeah it is it is so and great food lovely. <laughs> yeah. oh the food was it was good food. food was superb don't forget yeah. to go to the canteen at the BTS show, though, because that's spot on as well. Did that, that, yeah. They do a nice breakfast and a nice bit of grubbing now. So the BTS show, then, whilst we kind of – I've got a, a ticker banner can put along the bottom there. So 22nd of May. I hope I've got that right. I've got that right. Yeah. So what time does it, what time does it start for it's people nice. to, to, to get well, in? Well, basically, um, this year – Obviously, you know, this is we've we've been absent for two years, believe it or not. Um, so there's a little bit of nerves at the moment. Um, I've been in discussion with the, the WEC, the Warwickshire Exhibition Centre, had a number of meetings with them to make sure everything's ready to go, which it is. Um, we are returning on the 22nd of May. Um, this year, we've got 82 exhibitors. Um, that's more than we've ever had. We've got 225 tables worth of inverts, dry goods, spiders, tarantulas, you name it, we've got it. And we sort of say, look, if we haven't got it, we'll find it. Yeah. Um, we'll try to. Um, you know, we've got everything you, you could possibly want at the show. I know many of you have, already, have, have been many years. Um, so for the general public, it opens at 11 o'clock. Yep. Um, exhibitors start arriving at um, 8 a.m. in the morning and they sort of set up. I mean, we're very fortunate. Some of these, well, all of these guys will remember the old days where oh, we used God, to. Yeah. We used to have to when we were we were at sort of the Wood Green High School way way back. We used to have to carry the, the tables out of the classrooms, put them all out, and then at the end of the day, put them all back in exactly the same position. Um, and those were hard days. But these days, we sort of um, we've got to mark it a little bit, and so that they they lay all the, the tables out for us. Um, and so 11 o'clock, but, but the first people start queuing, and it's always the same person. He always arrives at 5 a.m. in the morning. Bless and he him. starts queuing at 5. He says, oh, you guys all know him, Chris, the big guy, the nice fella. And he's always there first thing in the morning. Uh, in fact, one year at the WEC, the, the guy who owns it lives on site. And Chris went and knocked his front door at 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> to let him in. Um, so 11 o'clock, it opens to the public. Um, we're expecting probably between two and a half and 3,000 people mm. this year. Um, give, given the feedback that I've seen on Facebook, you know, the little poll I've done, um, I think it's going to be mega. Um, I think it's going to be mega. I know a lot of you attended the Sea Show at Ashford, um, and in Victor and Chris and these guys are all good friends of ours. Uh, they've been affiliated with us for years. Um, and, and he said their show was the best I've ever had, and I am confident that this year's show will be the biggest and best that we've ever held. And if I do say so myself, I think it, I personally think it's the biggest and best show in the UK. And that's I'm well, biased, of course. Well, um, I organise it, but or myself and Angela do. But um, yeah, I mean, don't forget as well, we have the competition. I was yes. Gonna, you have a competition so you can exhibit your spider. Um, I'm going to put the categories up online very soon and speak to Mark and we get the trophies sorted so you can uh, we can win, win, you could win trophies and things. Bear in mind that um, an old name's appearing this year. Mary Walters is coming back. And Mary Walters is a show winner in her day. That's some and competition she, there. <laughs> she is returning back to the fold. 
Um, oh, Amy, with, with sorry, spiders. Sorry, wait one sec. Um, Amy, just so you know, you can't enter if you're in the on the committee. No. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. My daughter, my daughter uh, wouldn't have turned out work right, so. What I would say, as Pete says, you can enter the committee competition. Yeah. yeah. We, we, well, we're being we, we reinstated. Um, yeah. And the other thing is, as well, what we really, really want is artwork from the kids. Because, yes. you know, the, the kids, y y your daughter and the young people are the future of this hobby when we've long gone. And it will carry on. But Who we won just a prize last year, Amy? Sorry? Who won a prize at the last one? Uh, my daughter. Oh, did for she? The, on, for the children's just... artwork, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she was. Is what it's all about. Just... Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll go and get it. Hang on. Yeah, <laughs> we, just want, we want kids to, and we want adults as well, you know, to um, to enter the art, the art competition and the spider competition. And, I, and, and you know what? As this year as well, you all stand a chance because most of the Europeans are not attending through various reasons, um, COVID, Brexit, etc. Um, and so they usually walk away with a lot of prizes. Yeah. Because they yeah, have good tarantulas. So yeah. this year, with a bit of luck, um, you know, we're going to see some new winners. So the, 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 the picture I, I, is kind of been stashed away, but that that's that's it in the journal. Yes, look at that. <laughs> uh, okay. looks, that. Brilliant. Yeah. Looks looks like one of Andy's taxonomic drawings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's a lot better. Keep oh. this journal forever. Give yeah. Yeah. JP, he won't be watching. <laughs> Amy, um, get, in, get in touch with Mike. Get in touch with Mike Strick yes. and see if he's got any spare copies. Oh, okay. So you, there might be some spares hanging around if you want a couple of extras, just in case. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, just well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, just I'm normally quite good at keeping things safe as long as What's I remember really where nice the safe place well, is. It's in the art competition. It doesn't have to be paints and pencils. One year we actually had someone enter um, a pasta um, a comp, uh, spider. Yeah. Actually, pieces of pasta glued to a card in the shape oh. of a spider, and and <laughs> it doesn't. We, times, we've we? even had tattoos entered. Yeah, I was just going to say about the tattoos, but the problem then is, of course, the person that's there is just technically just the canvas. Just the canvas. <laughs> yeah. The artists themselves weren't represented, so yeah. So it'd be like Mark doing a. a uh, well, I don't know. I say, for example, a spider tattoo on somebody's leg, for example. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and me entering that and me winning. But, of course, yeah. I'm not the artist. I'm just the thing that the, the artwork was done on. So Mark would Mark would be the, the kind of competitor, if you like, mm. in, in that instance. Mm. Very so, true. Yeah. But as I say, yeah. we... I mean, this year, we, we've, we, we've, we've, we have up the stakes a lot this year. Um, it, it's... You know, we, we put the show on for you guys um, and ourselves... We, we've been doing it so long, it's become second nature to us, to be honest. Um, we, we've had a few hiccups along the road where we've had to move venues because we've just got too big. Um, and we, we've just got, we had, one year we had the Rico Arena in Coventry and then we've moved to this place. Um, I think two years, Ray, we were at the Rico, weren't we? Two years at the Rico Arena, we were two years there. Then we moved um, and then we found this place, which we think is an ideal venue, you know, space for, for like, 200 cars, possibly even more than that. Um, it's 25,000 square feet. So we have for good weather. So, and we and we pray <laughs> for good weather. And it's just, a, I mean, I'm sure many, many of your viewers have, have, have attended the show, but I, I, what is really encouraging is just looking at the Facebook page, our Facebook page, how many newbies are coming into this hobby. <laughs> the hobby is seeing a big, big resurgence. And that's thanks to people like you guys, YouTubers, who were yeah. out there pushing it on a daily basis. And the number of people who are emailing me now and saying, look, I'm new to the hobby. And the other thing I, I particularly like about all these newbies coming into the hobby, and one of the things we, we pride ourselves with on the Facebook page, as you know, is we, we don't have this sort of slating of people. We, 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 yeah. we, if, if, we were all beginners once. You know, yeah. we, we all kept a spider in a jar. Some of us still do. Um but the reality is, is that we, we, we try to encourage people to be sensible. Don't criticise people. If you think something's wrong, speak to them and say, I think that's wrong. But but it's that we've always prided ourselves that we, we police our Facebook page pretty yeah. well. Which, which I wholeheartedly kind of agree with. I do the same with 
the Balfouria communal club group that I uh, set up and run. Yeah, I just, there's no need to be bashing people. At the end of the day, I think we can all sit here and say that even though we know so much, we also don't know so much. <laughs> there's so much to learn and I mean, to run exactly. to. I mean, I learn things all the time. You know, we learn things all the time. This is uh, it. General husbandry, just that you think, well, really? I didn't know that. Uh, you know, and it, it's a brave person who, who can sit there and say, I don't need to attend a lecture because I already know it. And and you would never, ever hear any of us or who've been keeping spiders for so long I, say that. We, 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 we learn things all the time. Yeah, all the yeah time. I get that quite a lot because I do a lot of school things and the teacher will go, so are you an expert then? And I'll say, well, I don't think there is any truly experts. Yeah. I, I would say I'm an experienced amateur. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think, I think you're, right. Right. You're, you're right, Guy. And the, the problem is that the moment you try and put yourself forward as an expert, yeah. that's the moment at which you demonstrate that you're not. I mean, you yeah. Like yourself up yeah, 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 absolutely. That one. And... and um, yeah, it's 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 never it's never the way to sell yourself. An expert yeah. is an ex is a has been, and a yeah. spur is a drip under pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. I like. Yeah, can it. I tell Smith though? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from Andy. Apart from Andy. <laughs> right. Well, I did. Uh, I did put something together that we just le the leads on from was we talking about the show. So I'm just going to play this little advert for you guys, and uh, hopefully everybody in the chat you'll enjoy it too. So here we go. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat. This is not a test. Those, all of those people that are going to be there and yes i did sit there and i did type every single one and i do apologize if there's like... any typos <laughs> <laughs> i did it at like one o'clock this morning and i thought well, shall i message somebody and say have you got a list amy have i got a list <laughs> I've got a list for you. Oh, for goodness sake. Look He's got that. list spreadsheets, everybody's uh, inside leg measurements, for God's sake. Is, I said earlier, this is ye old BTS Bible. And when I go, someone's inheriting this, and this is everything you need to know how to that's run that, a show. That's the right, Turing that's, that's gonna, that's shroud of the BTS. BTS <laughs> the Turing it's going to take ages to burn. Yeah. <laughs> <It's not good. laughs> What's really nice as well, this year, um, as I said, a lot of the European dealers have unfortunately had to pull out um, for various reasons. And But what's really been nice is that we've we've probably got, out of 80 traders or exhibitors, we've probably got at least 20, 25 new guys. Yes. People, are, you know, are, I've, I've, who have contacted me and said, look, I do this, I do that. Um, and, and we've welcomed them on board. So it's it's... If I could get a bigger venue, which which I can't now, I'm not going to even think about it. Um, we could probably we could probably fill it as again. 
Yeah, I, I must admit, I was, when I was doing the, the advert and I was typing some of the names, and I was like, I've never heard of this one, I've never heard of this one. It's like, that, that, that was really exciting for me, just the fact that there's new people going to be there. And, and, and a, lot of the guys, a lot of the guys you see with just a name, they are hobbyists. They yeah. are guys like us who started off with a couple of spiders, have bred a few. Um, Dave Sugden, for instance, who's on there. I remember him when he was a very young lad, probably about 10 years of age, he bred Lassadora Parabiana. And he had probably... He still, about, he still can't get rid of them. And he still got most of them. <laughs> he, he so about still got them. Babies. And he came to the show, he, he, he had one table, and he was going to sell them a 10 quid a piece and retire. And I think at the end of the day, he sold two. Um, he, he, he wasn't put off, he went back, he realised what he needed to do, and this year he's come back. And, and, and now he's a grown man, you know, and, and they're still in the hobby. And a, a lot of these guys you see single names are simply hobbyists who, yeah. who do a little bit of breeding. And they're the people you need to be speaking to at the shows. And they're yeah, the because... people that started the shows years ago. That's yeah. who used to exhibit at the shows. I mean, the big breeders yeah. used to be like was it Ron Baxter. Yeah. Um, and and, and logical Livestock Supplies. Yeah. ALS. ALS. Virginia yeah, Cheese. Yeah, we were just talking about John Bob. and Kathleen Ancock. They were the people that used to have the big stock. The rest of them were just us obvious breeders. And so we yeah, would breed 80 we odd would, people. Ralph Fitchett. Ralph Fitchett. Oh, and we, I mean, Ralph, yeah. you know, we all, we all had our own specialist fields. I mean, we bred Cobalt Blues, you know, Liverdom. Um, other guys bred Brachypelma. We specialised in Asian tarantulas. Other people specialised in South American. Um, and, and American tarantulas, and and so over the years, you know, like we travel to Asia, other guys travel to America. Um, we, we we just started off as, as normal guys. Um, my first our first tarantula was an avicularia, or what second one? Um, no, it was um, avicularia, avicularia, and it was called Bop Bop. That was its name, <laughs> Bop Bop. Love it. And it, I tell you something. I this is how we an experience we were. It matured male. And it ran around the tank for four days, insane, as males do. Yeah, and we had, we we and we had no it. idea. We had no yeah. idea why this thing was, was running around the tanks. And, and just as an ordinary, I wasn't even a member of the club then. Um, and I wrote to the journal and, and I asked the question, you know, and I think to myself, these days, if I posted that on Facebook, I'd probably have 100 people telling me I was an idiot. Whereas in those days... And it'll be right. <laughs> and in, those, in those days, John Hancock wrote back to me very kindly and said... Was it was Pete. I think it might have been you, Pete. He wrote back to me and said, you have a male tarantula there, my friend. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, you, you, it's, it's, it's things like that which would stick with you and, and you know, you never mm -hmm. be too proud to learn anything. And, yeah. Yeah, and it's very really important as well because... Um, there were some really, really strong friendships forged in the, in the very, yeah. very early days. So uh, for, for, for those of you that, that went to the, the lectures, uh, Jean-Michel Verdez, the, the very, very famous Frenchman. Um, you know, I've known Jean-Michel since the late 80s, 90s um, from uh, an exhibition, uh, the, from a kind of a, an expo that used to take place in, in Knock in Belgium, uh, run by the infamous Philippe Charpentier in those days. And and back in those days, Pocletheria were were exceptionally rare, mm -hmm. and and I, and I had a few. And and in those days, there was no such thing as email. You actually had to write a letter, even to somebody in France or from you know from France to the UK. And and I corresponded with Jean Michel for for quite a long time, and and we talked about exchanging specimens. He was desperate, absolutely desperate to get a Pocletheria. Mm -hmm. So I said, it's fine. I'll I'll bring one. I'll bring two over for you. That's no problem. And then when I got there. It was, it was, well, you know, I haven't got anything that's this good to give you back. Mm. So I, you know, in those days, it was literally just, that's okay. You take these. And at some mm. point in the future, I'm sure you will have. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is that friendship, that, that, that gesture was never, ever forgotten. Mm. And then every time Jean-Michel got something, I also got something. Um, uh, not anymore. Um, <laughs> in, in fact, these days, I'd saying to John Paul earlier. These days, when I see Jean Michel, normally it's it's when I'm with my wife Connie. Uh, he, he will say, ah, uh, for Connie, I have I have the, the rose wine and and whatever else he brings for her." And then he turns to me and says, "And for you, I have nothing." 
Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I time without fail. But but that's you know it's it's that that really strong friendship that's that, that was forged in in the you know the late nineteen eighties. You know, mm. not long after you were born. Eh? <laughs> yes. Oh. yes, I know. <laughs> the, other, the other thing to remember is is long long before Facebook and the internet and all yeah. this. Um, we set up the BTS, set up the BTS friendship scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, and yeah, we, 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 we wrote, we, we wrote, remember the yeah. days when you had a pen and you wrote? Yeah, yeah. Um, and we wrote to every member and asked them if they wanted to join. Oh, yeah, that's one. Yeah, that's one. That's one of them antique things. Antique. It says um, we wrote, any interest in it. We, we wrote to all of our members and, and we asked them if they wanted to, you know, and w join. And we put members in touch with people in their own area and they could meet up and, and club little, little offshoots were formed. And, of course, then the internet came along and blew us out of the water. Um, but, but way back in the early days, we, we had this BTS friendship scheme and we, we wanted people to, 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 to talk to each other. Of course, as Pete said, you had to write letters or yes. phone. But these Nine days... It's instant. It's instant. So, but yeah, I mean, and it's all positive. To be fair, it's all good stuff, really. It is. It is. And the friendships, I have to say, the friendships that I've made just by joining the the community yeah. has been it's a yeah, one. second to none. I mean, there's some people that our class is true friends now like it but yeah we met because of tarantulas. What's that yeah. say? Wall to all spiders. spiders. That's Anne Webb's book, isn't it? Yeah, the same way. Look, this is a lot. Of, I'll show you my bookcase. Let me unplug I think, it. I think you've it's got a whole book. tarantula library, haven't you? I think we <laughs> all have to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, um, that looks very similar to my tarantula book library. Yeah, and, and no, it doesn't, Ray, because yours is all in alphabetical order and sized and color coordinated. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mine's everywhere. Mine's As it eclectic. should be. Mine's <laughs> <laughs> one of the most amazing things is, is like when I went when when Smithy comes to our house and he lives just up the road from us. He he goes into my sort of library where all my books are, and and he just pulls them out and just pulls them out a little bit. Uh, and I say, why are you doing that, Andrew? He says, well, I'm borrowing these. Uh, and I went, no, you're not. <laughs> but yeah, what we do, I think all of us have acquired a lot of books over the years. Right, yeah. What's that one? The, well, I, I just, I love the journals. Yeah. So we, we uh, yeah, should so plug it has the changed, membership. It has changed a little bit. Yes, it has. It has this is 1999. I've got a really yeah. old one that's yellow like that. Yeah, so... so um, this um, is not in, when you want to party days, like it's 1999. Yeah, so one. this this is actually one of one of the ones that, that I did back in the back in the days. Um, and in these days, it was all, it was literally all text. Oh. And no, mm. no pictures. Except, oh, a but, few. But I, I had to fight for this to, to, to enable us to have four plates. Or you did two, two middle page color color plates because it was like, no, we can't do that. And, yeah, I remember. And back then, now yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. glorious. Now look at it. It's changed a little bit, hasn't it? Oh, it, but it's it's just so amazing, and there's such good quality. You know everything. And look at that. Look at those pictures. Yeah, really nice. Just stunning. Just yeah. Absolutely stunning. But yeah, yeah the, the membership sure itself, what is this, £20 a year, isn't it? Yep. The membership. Yeah. That's nothing, is it? It's, <laughs> no. the, same as, it's the same as the lectures, the journals, a huge resource, isn't it? Yes, yeah, massive, for, yeah. For articles. I mean, I update the, the journal articles contents thing, which is on the BTS page, and I've never actually counted how many articles there is, but it's got to be a few thousand, isn't it? And if somebody wanted to uh, put forward, uh, you know, whether they'd done a, a breeding report or, you know, mm -hmm. something else, if they wanted to put it forward to have it considered to be published in the, in the journal, is that something that yeah. anybody can do? Absolutely. Anybody, anybody can write anything for the journal they just they just need to send it to me uh you know it, it's um editor yeah. at the bts.co.uk yeah absolutely i mean it, it's in the journal um all and, information's um, good information yeah all, all yeah absolutely all and, it, and it can be literally it can be literally anything. Oh, yeah um observations any breeding reports photos um, from your phone yeah if you if you if you're 
if you think you've taken a, a you know half a dozen superb photographs, then then send it, and it can be published as a gallery. Uh, it, it's literally anything. Just just even just your own personal view of what the hobby's done for you over the last however many years you've been involved. Um, yeah. I mean, the journal's very visual, so it, it always helps if you if you accompany it with some. Uh, images of some sort, some photos, book reviews. Um, yeah, book reviews. Uh, somebody might even want to do a review of one of Andy's DVDs. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> and and not only that, guys, but if you join and become a member, you also get ten percent off at the spider. Yeah, yeah, ten ten percent off the spider <laughs> shop. And for those of you that are down Essex way, which I think is oh nobody up there except for us two. Um, there's a shop down here called Cold Blooded, a reptile shop, but they also sell spiders. Twenty percent off. In oh, and don't forget the last mine. Yeah. Last year during COVID, we put together an initiative where I contacted all the traders at our event and asked them if they would give BTS members on production of a card a discount. Yeah. Yeah. And I had probably thirty or forty exhibitors come back to me, all saying, "Absolutely, it's been a hell of a two years." We will give 10%, 20% off if you quote your BTS membership number, et cetera, in your name, and it's checked. You know, we so, I think we get a list. Should we get a list, Gavin, in the back of the journal? Yeah, well, I did, I we, we, we did a list. We did a list, and I think that was put up on our, on our uh, members-only site. Yeah. Um, and so, basically, uh, Mike Strick got involved in that. And I think we have, I say we have probably 20 or 30, the Spider Shop, all these guys, so many legs, all these guys came back and said, yes, why not? Um, and that's what we, we, we're trying to do. Custom Aquaria have been doing it from the Custom have always year. done it, to be fair. If you say you're a B, you tell the Custom Aquaria you're a BTS guy, Custom BTS Aquaria. members. Yeah. They will I didn't know to... Custom Aquaria did that. Yeah. I've still I've got, got, I've so, still I've got, got... I've so still got some of the original <laughs> custom Aquaria tanks with spiders in upstairs. I'm, I've no, still no. got I've still, I've got all of my spiders are in custom Aquaria tanks because personally, I think they are, I have to say, despite all the other tanks that are on the market, personally, I do like the glass tank. So I use I. them as the, the final enclosures. So, mm -hmm. yeah, custom Aquaria is the final enclosure. They're, yeah. they're, they're just, I love them. They're just so I'm good. Bear in mind, Matt, the guy, and you all know Matt, he's got this long hair and the big long beard. Matt made his first tank when he was 14 years of age in his bedroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, no way. That's where he started his business at 14 when he started. And, and now, now he's, he's, he's one of the biggest suppliers of tanks. And it's the only place you can get a coffin shaped glass tank. Yep. Which is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I them. This. Yeah. I remember the local reptile shop selling the coffin ones. Yeah, I remember yeah. people like being like, ah, look at that, that's amazing. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. So, but, but there's so many things that people don't realize that have gone on over the years. And, you know, we, we just want people to come on board, join us. You know, we can learn from you guys as much as, you know, hopefully you can learn from us. And that's, that's what I said to you last week. Yeah, you know, that's we, it. You, you don't have to live up to our expectations. We have to live up to yours. Oh, no, no. Got, and that's what Another this, thing this. I think we should do is, and I don't want to turn this into a committee meeting, is do a flyer for pet shops. <laughs> do a flyer for pet shops. I've already spoke to Paul at Cold Bloody because he's been to our shows back in the day at Wensbury. Remember Fine. Paul, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And um, he's such a top lad. And he was like, yeah, any BTS members, 20% off, no problems. I said, I'll yeah. do you a flyer to put in your shop and make whenever you sell a spider, get people to photograph. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Get people to photograph that with their phone because you haven't got to print millions of them out now because everyone's got a phone with a camera on it. Take yeah. that drone and type it in and then join that BTS society. Mm. Every time, every time any spider shop sells a self spider, they should be doing that because um, information is key. Mm. Promotes good health of the pets you're keeping. I mean, you won't go out and buy anything else, a parrot or a dog or anything, and not buy a book or talk to people about it. Which mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of people go, oh, oh, I'll buy a spider and just stick it in a tank, put it in their house, and hope for the best. I think because they're. A cheap I mean, you're quite right. What you're saying. I mean, the, the BTS as as. We've never, we've never professed to be the best. We've never professed to be elite. We've never professed to be ex experts. We're just hobbyists. We, we, you know, as Guy said, we're enthusiastic amateurs or experienced amateurs, just like everybody else. 
Um, and I think if we can if we can all get that to get across, um, you know, and people come to the show, and you, as Pete says, we you make friendships that will last you a lifetime. Yeah, and the more people in it in the BTS, the more information that people can mm -hmm. share via the via the uh, so. uh, uh, where was it journal. Uh, our journal. Yeah. So via our journal, wherever the one of the updated ones is. I'll just pop my hand across here and find one. But yeah, fire air journal. You can all share information on there. And then the more people, the more information, the more pages filled in a journal, and the better the better the society is. So yeah. the, the journal is one hundred percent reliant on on contributions. Yeah. It's literally it's literally that. If the journal is late, it's because I'm sitting there waiting for something to be emailed to me pop to up. consider for the journal. I can't send out a journal that's half done. So, people, you hear that in the chat. Yeah. If you've got any photos or there's anything that you want to yeah. kind of talk about, you know, like I said, your experiences of just being in the hobby, what got you in the hobby, that kind of thing, then yeah. go ahead and put it forward because, yeah, wouldn't you just love to be in the British Tarantula Society Journal? <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a bit, I see it as a big thing, you know, so... Um, I definitely want to encourage. Well, it's, a it's a recognised publication as well, isn't it? This is it. This is mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So it's it's amazing, and these get you know sent out to every member, don't they? Regardless of yeah. where they are in the world. It gets so sent out to every member, but also it goes off to various universities and museums. Yeah. There you go. So it is, there you it's go. Recognised from an academic perspective as well. It's amazing. It just is. I, I just I love the whole lot. Um, a little bit kind of overexcited about so, Amy, you have to you have to now write lots of articles and do lots of lectures next year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the rule. You're putting pressure on me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Amy does have one little job to do in terms of articles, I so do. yeah. I do, I do. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on it as from no tomorrow. Rush. <laughs> <laughs> so just so we all know, when the Amy journals are like this year, it was like Amy Sports. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So it's late. Like, it's Amy. Yeah. Yeah. You're holding it up, yeah, yeah, me, So sorry. No pressure. But <laughs> blame me. That's all right. I'll take them. I'm only saying that to get the heat off of me. You're all right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for JP to do one. Of, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm not waiting for JP it's to do It's only for Andy. One. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go in the next one. Too funny. Uh, and also as well, I just wanted to say, like, with the lectures, because um, Guy brought back, brought my mature male, Brack Palmer Amelia, who I had sent off. So as well, like, as long as I think it was keep it hush, hush, don't kind of get them out and stuff, but you can bring tarantulas if you swap in or bring him back and stuff to the yeah, lectures absolutely. as well, can't you? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So he's in, he's in here and he just doesn't. It's a, it's a great place to, to exchange your mails and, and, uh, and talk about breeding. So I, uh, just to qualify that, Mark, your male spiders. Yeah, yeah. Well, as far as I know, that's what we was on about. You know, I don't know what goes on in your no, twisted little kind of club. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Not that kind of hotel. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it might have been in some people's yeah, rooms. Just, just to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to clarify, your male tarantulas. Yeah, that's it. Male, like yeah, them. male tarantulas. And, and you can actually Are you writing that down, Amy? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> writing it down but for next year. It is quite funny because when you say we well, just go onto the mature male page. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid that's none of us. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah, not a cool not... male on here, I'm afraid. It's just a big picture of Andy on yeah. there. <laughs> Send the spread. Yeah, that's one thing we can never be accused of, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, um, so Chaz has put, he wants to be a member. So just go over to the website and it's it's on there. Let me get the website. I might be able to just drop it in the chat one second. Oh. Or you can join at the show, can't you? That's the yeah. yeah. You can join at the that, show. That's I mean, where I joined at a show. Yeah. yeah. What we go. tend to do there is is the um, unfortunately, obviously, we're not having a show for two years. It's been quite difficult. But what we did is we changed the membership so it runs from May till May. Mm -hmm. So yeah. ninety percent of our members who come to the show will rejoin at the show. Make just makes life easier. Um, yeah. But you can still join online by going to the BTS. You know, co. uk the, the website. Um, and, and we'll post it up on Facebook as well, so it's it's on there. It's easy to join as well. Yeah. It's not a complicated affair. 
Oh, and Steve's just paid for membership too. Get in, Steve. Oh, get in, Steve. Get in. Well, Steve's that, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> is he checking it now? Is there a secret handshake? Yes, there is. <laughs> yeah, but it's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> Come on I'll to the share committee. it, Steve. Don't and worry. There he is. And there he is. He's joined. Yes. Yeah. 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 Come and see us in the secret handshake. Do you know what I have to say? When I first joined the committee, and well, I think it was Andy and Peter who invited me onto the committee way back. I, I was so disappointed when I realised it wasn't a secret society. <laughs> you know, I, I was expecting handshakes and, and sort of cloaks and daggers and things in darkened rooms. And when I walked into the BTS committee, there was Andy Smith with his pipe <laughs> sitting there. Um, and those days you were allowed to smoke in public and all the other committee members in one was eating a sandwich and one was just chatting and, and for the first hour I sat there absolutely bemused by it all I, I, I was a young man at the time and I, I was so bemused by it and, and when I came back I, I, I was I was like yourself Amy I was just like a kid in a sweet shop um, and, and the, as I say and, and it was from then that friendships are formed for life and, and it will happen it happens now you know, guys who are starting keeping tarantulas now, in 30 years' time, we'll, we'll still have great friends. Everyone, I think it's John Hancock and a bottle of um, Rohypno, I think. And that leaves an eye to it. Almost certainly. I think yeah. I woke that up that and pretty I was suspect. by Anne Webb and Frank Webb, and I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> it so was Rob, uh, interesting. Robbie's also learnt something tonight. He didn't know that. Cold blooded uh, could use a membership for you can, a Robbie, negotiated very, very recently by JP. Robbie, that was last week. I walked in, I've known Paul for 30 years, and uh, walked into the shop and I went, I'm back in the team. You've been about time, you don't do anything else. So <laughs> uh, after that little bit of a scuffle we had in behind the till, uh, I said, Well, what about a discount then? And he went, Any of your members can come in here, prove the membership, and get 20% discount off. So, say, Paul... Hey, that, we all know where Robbie's going tomorrow, then. Paul, Paul <laughs> yeah, yeah. the tall Paul. Yeah. If you go in the shop, you'll know him. He's the tall one with the glasses and the beard. Don't stop talking. And uh, if anyone else questions it, just say JP uh, had a chat it's with... He's the short Paul. one who don't stop talking. He's yeah. the short <laughs> one who don't stop talking. <laughs> and make sure they give you a decent discount. Yeah. So, yeah, any anything out of the shop. Spiders, live food, the lot. Wow. That's so cool. And I'll probably that, that, be in there tomorrow, actually. So, I mean, that in itself is just a great perk, isn't it, of, of yeah. being a member and, and everything else that comes with it, you know. <laughs> I actually love the little membership cards as well. They're pretty fancy, aren't they? Oh, mm. Yeah, all good. Oh, so Amy Bolton says that she is going to join on Friday. Yeah. Hey. That's awesome hey. stuff. Look at that one. Right. This is a BTS history <laughs> lesson now. Yeah? Look at this. <laughs> Ready for this? Blimey. An original. Oh, that one. <laughs> that. That's an original. Oh, I've got, I, I have got much. I have got the very strong card. One, four, seven. With a different number on it. Look at that. It's, it's not in your wallet, I don't think. And what number was you, Ray? Uh, you my number JP? was... I think mine was, I was after JP. I think mine was one, one, one eight something. One eight, oh, oh, eight oh. seven, that one. No. That's, that's... One eight three. What was yours, Mark? Mine's eight mine. seven seven. No, ah, mine's, actually, no, no, mine's no. after yours. Mine's, mine's about 900 then, I think, because yeah. I joined him after you. Read it and wait. Go on then, guys. <laughs> guys what numbers yours do you know? I'll, oh, go, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. Five. Five. Five, That's four, the seven, oldest nine. thing I've ever kept for the longest in my life. Yeah. I've still got mine. I just I, I put it in my wallet. Oh, I've still got mine somewhere. Unbelievable. Uh, it's upstairs. Look, look, and what's, ama what's amazing, that's still got the old logo on it. It has. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's have a look at the old logo again. That's that's the the, that was the one we changed to. There's the old logo. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, it was the spider that, on the planet. That was stolen that. from Entological Livestock Supplies, Ian Wallace. That's correct. Yeah, that's yeah, it. We that's it from. But that's well, the original logo. And yeah. there's the, the upgraded one. Yay. <laughs> We've come a long way. 
tarantula straight out of Pocock's paper in the spiders of British India. Yours is something. It's, I think it's just. Yeah. Sorry, I think mine's yeah. in here. Mine will be like the Probably most modern there. one, I suppose. I can't even remember my own name, but I know where that is. <laughs> there, look, this one I is got mine. Two in all these, but yeah. yeah, that one, the plush, the new ones. Yeah. Oh, okay, I've, yeah, got, yeah. I've got a posh one, me. <laughs> the, new, the, new, the new logo. Yeah. The new logo. Oh, oh Mark, I still need the semi burn logo. Here's our cat who wants to say a lot. Yeah, no worries. Wait, yeah. whatever. Yeah, the she, she, she didn't like being picked up. Oh. And so, Mark, you did the logo, didn't you? I've done all the logos since I came on oh, board. Here are. Oh, here it is. Look, hey, hey, hey. Look how battered that is. Oh, yes. Yay. Look at that. I'm gonna have to find mine out. I don't know where it is at the moment. I do. Do you, you know where it is? Yeah, that's an old old one. Eight, see, I even remember it. Eight seven seven. Eight seven seven. There's no point you in me because I'm at John Paul's house, but it's not there. <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I think well, Andy's not, he's not fully moved in yet. I think Andy was number three. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah fully moved yeah, in. Yeah, and he was number three. Yeah, yeah. He no. must have been Anne Frank. Well, no, and that's that's the, the newer ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it Anne Frank, Andy, Vince, or Williams? Paul Carpenter. Paul Carpenter. That's so cool. So I know you think why we're all dinosaurs because we keep we're sad and we keep loads of old rubbish. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we are this? old dinosaurs. The, the BTS oh, I recognise that. That's my business card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Look at this. Oh yeah! Mm. One of the very early one, stickers that I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flipping hell! I've got one of those stuck inside a Perspect. A perspect. I've seen that. Look, I've got these. Oh, I've got these stickers all out. Look, BTS stickers everywhere. Even I've even yeah, got this... the, the different flags. Mm. <laughs> That's these, so cool. Uh, the window stickers haven't been seen for twenty years. Look at that! No. Well, it's about time they made a comeback at the show, Mark. Yes. Yeah, yes, one hundred percent. I'll have a, I'll window have it, a window sticker. Window lickers. Window lickers. Where's my card from? Yeah, yeah. no, no, we have the different flavoured ones. Do you want it? So one one thing I did want to ask you all um, is, uh, you know, as you know, hobbyists go to the shows and they always have a wish list. Um, so do you guys go with a wish list? Do you have a wish list? Do you have a tarantula that you're looking for that you haven't had before? Or are you just content with what you've got now? <laughs> we don't have time to look, Amy, is the truth. I was yeah. just going to say that, yeah. I, I, I think know. We, we, we get I think there we and, yeah. and then and then we're on the go till till it closes at four and past it as well. You know what? What really is quite sad, and, and this is hard to believe, but many at, we, at, the, at the show, all all these guys, we work so hard that on, on the day that the show comes and goes, and I rely on videos that people like yourself make, so I can actually see what was at the show. Yeah. Oh no way! I, and, you know, I, I, go, I, ne I never saw that the orchid mantid. I never saw that that the cyclos a spider. I never saw that. You know, and, and I, I suddenly think to myself, I've just spent the entire day sorting problems out um, for other people. And I'm thinking, but at the end of the day, this is our hobby. We, you know, we love our spiders like you guys love the spiders. Um, and and have I bought anything at the show? I think that most of the guys here will tell you we haven't bought anything at the BTS show for a long time. Yeah, it's really because right. We, we occasionally get the opportunity before the end to literally run around and grab and something, mostly not. Um, one, one other thing, Amy, the membership card... Yes. The spider that appears on the membership card is usually the winner of the best in show at the tarantula competition. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so whatever wins best in show that goes on to the hmm. membership card. The only reason, obviously, that didn't happen last year because we didn't have a competition. So, when somebody enters the, the that competition, yeah. do yeah. they have to like bring the tarantula, you know, in in a tub with? Just yeah, it needs to be towel or no, no, it just needs to be in a clear, clear container so that we can see it from all angles. Um, I mean, it's only in there temporarily for the day, so that, that you know they, they shouldn't get too stressed of 
not sitting in their substrate um, for, for a day. Um, you know, the, the truth is that we've, you know, when we've been out in the field, we've we found tarantulas under bricks, uh, inside a polythene bag in a, in a, in a, you know, that's been pushed into a hole in a tree. Um, that they're, they're quite, they're quite versatile in, in terms yeah. of what they can survive. So, you know, a day in a, a day in a clear plastic box shouldn't stress out people's it shouldn't stress them that too much. Yeah. Um, and what we do as well is that you, you bring your spider in a clear plastic container. Yeah. You tell us what category you want to enter it into. Yeah. Uh, we give you a raffle ticket. We stick. Please up. tell us exactly the name. Yeah, we, we, obviously, we, we need the name of the spider, um, and then we give by you a raffle ticket. The name of the spider. We don't mean Not it's Boris. called Fluffy. <laughs> Not Fluffy. <laughs> yeah. We want the scientific name. Um, and then the the guys like um, uh, Pete and Jean Michel Vadez often yeah. judges for us. These these are guys. These are the legends, and they they literally judge. And then at the end of the day, we we award the prizes. Um, and yeah. then you come and collect your spider. And you know the best in show is is a sought after trophy. To yeah. be fair, yeah. So you'll you'll have the various categories. There'll be a winner in each category. Of those winners, we decide which one is the best in show. Oh, a little bit like crafts, I think you'll find. Ooh. <laughs> well, to be fair. I, I, someone once said to me, oh, you call yourself the Crufts of the spider world. No, no we don't. That yeah. was a rather over-eager over journalist back in Absolutely. about 1996 yeah. who christened us the Crufts of the spider world. We do not, we've never called us that. that uh, a newspaper called us that. So. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Uh, just want to just answer this for uh, Chaz there. So he says, my merch is amazing. It's so comfortable. I'm so glad you've just brought that out because you've just reminded me that I do have a giveaway going on Instagram. So if people haven't seen it already, then go over to my Instagram and make sure you enter it. It's really easy to enter. <laughs> and it's open worldwide. Yay. <laughs> so just so I'd say that. But yeah. So has anybody got anything else they want to talk about or share or anybody in the chat that wants to ask any questions? The chat can be a bit laggy sometimes. They can't come up. It doesn't come up quite quickly. I don't have anything else to ask you guys. Uh, you know, I, well, I do have loads of stuff, but <laughs> I didn't write it down. Speaking <laughs> of merchandise, there will be a, a, a new range of BTS t-shirts available at the, at the exhibition. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to talk to you about that too because I need to get myself a BTS top. I've got a bag, if that kind of <laughs> works. <laughs> oh, bags. We got bags. Yeah, yeah, I had to have I mean, a bag. One, one of the things people always ask us as well is, you know, can you get merchandise online? Um, and we've discussed this for many, many years. Um, and the, the, the problem is, of course, is that um, I'm retired, but most of, most of the other committee, they work and they have full-time jobs. And so it becomes very difficult, you know, to, to, to actually run a, an online merchandise thing. You know, you've got to pack it up and send it, et cetera. Um, so what we tend to do is each year Mark and, and Martin get mm -hmm. together, Martin and uh, Nicholas, and they get together and decide on a range of merchandise. Then they go out and get it and, and it, it, it yeah. debuts at our show. Yeah. Um, so it, it's just too difficult um at the moment to to put merchandise online and of course the other problem is you know we have limited funds so we, we can't buy 30 t-shirts in every size yeah you know and so we have we have to be selective of what we're buying and obviously we're conscious that we we our, our funds are limited from what we take at the show and i would, would say this is that the bts show has always been about and will always be about we, we make enough money to keep the society running and to keep the journal going and to keep the show going and the lectures. Um, you know, you know this, Amy, we're all volunteers. Yeah. We, do, we do it because we, we love the hobby. Um, uh, and that's, it's, that's all it's down to with us, you know. One so important that, thing about the merchandise, Ray, is that when you're saying that, you know, quite often it's limited quantities, um, what, what that basically means is, Every design is exclusive. Yeah. Which also yeah. means as well that like every year, you know, you can get you something get different. Yeah, you? absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That, and that, that's pretty cool. And did you not donate some T-shirts and stuff recently as well? Yeah. Yeah. To, uh, right. we'd, we'd got some stock left over, um, you know, and that's another thing, you know, we have to find somewhere to store this stuff, you know. <laughs> so all of us, all of us somewhere have probably got a box under the bed somewhere with merchandise <laughs> 
Um, and, and Ray Gabriel um, was approached where he's doing some work and we, we, we donated quite a few bags and T-shirts to, to one of the Ukraine um, charities to, to go over. And that's um, really cool. Mm. Well, you know, it's, we, live in, we live in difficult times. There's no doubt we about do. it. We live, yeah. we live in tough times. Um, and, and, you know, we don't have to fall out with anybody. We are, you know, we always say one flag, one hobby. Yeah. That's and it, it doesn't matter where you're from. We are we are one hobby. Whatever we country are. you're from, whatever your political belief, we 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 are in this hobby as as one society and one flag. So, and, and that's that. what it's all about. <laughs> that's I actually really like that motto. It's because it's, it's so true. <laughs> it is. It totally is. Right. Well. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. That's awesome. So have you guys got anything you want to say or ask me or each other? Shall we, shall we, shall we wrap no, it we up? We don't really talk to one another, no. to be fair. <laughs> I don't know. 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 We've got a Victoria sponge over there. We've got to have yeah, a piece of it in a second. So can you grab it I would like to ask one question. Is Guy, are you in prison? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called the North. I forgot. I forgot. Now I live down south. What it's like. <laughs> so yeah. It's just like you're right. sitting in this very dark corner that looks what looks like a prison cell. It's so dark. <laughs> That's a posh prison cell good. with that fancy wallpaper. Yeah. yeah well, nice he, he, he's seen a few inside of cell. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's uh, good. Next time, that... guy needs to, to be wearing his full kiss makeup. Yeah. yeah. See the uh, Goliath people in it. Ah, yeah, nice. Yeah. You, you haven't oh, yeah, designed yeah, nice. that, your wife has. No, no, we uh, stole that uh, off a Mexican bandito. No, when uh, yeah. I, I actually got it, uh, <laughs> I was telling that story the last time I was on with Amy. It's uh, I, I like Paisley shirts. Yeah, yeah, and uh, basically, we we knew this guy who was a was a, basically a designer, and I got him to design a, a paisley shirt based on the the Goliath beetle. Mm. So within it, this is a really it's a it's a strange one because this is a sort of uh, it's not as detailed as the original design. Yeah, yeah nice. So it it's not it's not really obvious until it's pointed out to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they do make an appearance. So I thought it was such a good design. I thought because yeah, yeah. that shirt, because that shirt I got married in doesn't doesn't fit anymore, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I thought I can't let that design go to waste. It's got to be seen. So it was the most expensive two pieces of wallpaper I've ever hung. So <laughs> I didn't need any paste. I was just using the sweat off my brow to. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Andy hates it because uh, you know uh, Andy did a speech at my wedding actually, and uh, he talked about how on field trips, how me and Paul will go off into the hillside, and then Paul will be off in the distance, and he'll shout across or come across on the on the radios that we found one, we found one, and everyone rushes to that, including Andy, to where Paul is, and it turns out it's just a giant beetle. <laughs> <laughs> so Andy, Andy told that story and, uh, to I was the only person who, who actually laughed at it. My brother was there, obviously, <laughs> who's who's uh, who works at London Zoo, and he laughed at it as well because he said, "That's right, Jude, you married a coleopterist." <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't actually know, we, 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 Andy is very focused on tarantulas. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he doesn't care about in anything else. Forest. He doesn't care a rainforest full of insects, bees, birds, butterflies, um, and he has no. He will just simply focus on tarantulas. Yeah, and yeah. if you're working with him and you have the audacity to say, "Oh, it's a beetle," no. Yeah. Or if you <laughs> if you point your camera at something else which isn't a spider, and you, you get a rap on the on the novel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A school teacher style. Yeah. yeah he's very focused. Yeah, he carries blackboard rubbers with him, and then yeah. <laughs> you boy. Not many people don't know what that means anymore, but you know that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For anybody that is watching, Andy used to be a school teacher. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and uh, well, the more I travelled with him, the more I realised that he used to be he used to be <laughs> a history teacher, didn't he? Which yeah, yeah. Yes. 
But yeah, I think it's not I've, in recent documentaries. It's nothing to do with spiders. It's all about trains. I think yeah. it's just the historical <laughs> train spotter. It's a closet, yeah, yeah, closet yeah. train spotter. Yeah, I did we can spend a month, a month on a field ago. trip and spend three yeah. weeks of that in in train stations. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An arachno historian, he likes to call. Yes. Himself. Which is a great term by uh, Jacoby, isn't it, Michael? Yeah, yeah, that's that. right. Yeah, Jacoby. Yeah, absolutely. Right, it's been fascinating, Amy. Thank you so much. Yes, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining. I'm so glad that you have because I think, yeah, we need to kind of get the, the faces of the committee out there. And I know people know who you are, but like you've said, at the shows, it's very difficult to talk and stuff. But if we can do things like this, then people can come and have a chat with you. And I think that that in itself is, is worth a million. So <laughs> thank you all for being here and joining me this evening. And thank you to the chat. Let's have a quick look, see if there's anything else going on here in the chat. You can't have any pudding. What does it mean? Oh, I don't know. I'd probably if you can't eat meat, you can't have any pudding. Can't have any pudding. Uh oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, guys, for being here. And like we've said, um, the show is on the Sunday, the 22nd of May. Make sure that you're there if you can be, because it's going to be absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. And I think for the outro, uh, uh, ticket, tickets for the lectures go on sale very soon. Wow. For the lectures for next year. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Be there. Or Watch be out square. for that then. Be there or be square. Make sure that you've joined the Facebook group or Facebook page, liked it, so that you can keep up to date with any of the latest events that are coming out. Because, yeah, you don't want to miss the lectures. If you can get there, honestly, guys, I wholeheartedly recommend it. I wish I'd have been loads of times before and we'll definitely be going again. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Don't think anybody's saying anything else. No. Okay, guys. So we'll leave it there. What I'll do is I'll... Shall I play the the lectures video again as the outro because I don't have an yeah, outro. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't got an outro. Why so, not? Yeah, so we go. <laughs> so until we see you next time, guys, please do take care of yourselves. I try to upload every Wednesday, but it doesn't always work that way. <laughs> and we hopefully we'll, we'll see you at the show in a couple of weeks' time. So see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh, I've got to do this where I'm putting it on the big screen. Hang on one second. <laughs> There you go.